My topic really is what we're going to talk about a little bit is the fire zones. And after you to listen to the offensive guys, the uh, co you know, coach from offensive coordinator uh, Tommy and, and coach uh, Paul from Dowling, I, those guys, you got to understand the up-tempo things. And it's the first experience I've had as a defensive coach in the up-tempo offense. When I went to Toledo, I'd never been around it on a daily basis. Um, it really helps you game plan and helps you get ready um, for what goes on. And I'd encourage any of you that if your offense isn't up-tempo, when you're playing those up-tempo teams, you've got to start, and I never did. We never did before. Um, but you've got to prepare for that a little bit now. You can't just wait until the three days before. It's kind of like when I was at West Point trying to defend the option in three days. I would watch teams as we were getting ready at Army to go play teams and them trying to defend an option in three days. It can't be done. You're playing an up-tempo offense that runs the option. It's an up-tempo offense. I think the thing you have to do on defense is change the tempo of the defense. Everything there is based on the read. What you see them doing, how many guys they have in the box. Well, they've got five in there, we've got five, give the ball. That guy's halfway between the box, here he's in the box, throw the ball. So you're constantly trying to find ways to change what they read. That takes some time too because you saw how fast they're going to go. So on defense, we try to do a good job of, of mixing up what we're going to do. We try to change our fronts. We try to change the reads. And our whole battle, and we talk about it, the first thing on our game plan every week is we must affect the quarterback. That's our number one goal. His picture's on the front of our, our game plan, on the front of our scouting report. We must affect the quarterback. There's two ways to do that as a defensive coach. One is mentally and one is physically. Physically get some hits on him. If he's going to carry the football in their offense, you've got to make sure that he pays the price to carry the football. It's hard to play offense these days without a quarterback. Okay? The second thing is you've got to affect him mentally. Mentally means you've got to give him something that he, really, that he thinks he sees, but it's really not there. That's the one thing that we have to try to find a way to do on defense is affect the quarterback mentally. Okay. The other thing you saw it earlier on, on, on Coach's comment was defense is really is an attitude and it's knowing where your help is. Okay. We're going to talk about fire zones and I'm going to talk about a little bit of what we do, but you have to know where your help is on defense and where it's coming from. And that's, in, that's critical for your guys. We encourage our guys not to memorize the defense. You saw a coach doing you know, what we call can drills, running guys through different formations and blitzes and checks and all of those things. We do all of that. It's a great concept. If you're not doing it, I encourage you to take time. It's not physical. It's all mental. It goes. You can make them go as fast as you want. If you come to our practices, you'll see us doing it. Um, we went and visited the NFL team a year ago. They were doing it. It, it forces your guys to think fast and play fast.